All right. How you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. And I've got a few questions here today. The first one is, if masks work, why the six-foot distance rule? If the six-foot distance rule work, why the masks? If they both work, why the lockdowns? If all three of those work, why the rushed vaccine? And finally, if the vaccines are safe and effective, then why the no liability clause? So you can see what I got up there on my screen. This is from CNBC. You can't sue Pfizer or Moderna if you have severe vaccine side effects. The government likely won't compensate you for damages either. Under the PREP Act, companies like Pfizer and Moderna have total immunity from liability if something unintentionally goes wrong with their vaccines. Let me blow this up so you can see it. A little-known government program provides benefits to people who can prove they suffered serious injury from a vaccine. That program rarely pays, covering just 29 claims over the last decade. So good luck with that. If you experience severe side effects after getting a vaccine, lawyers tell CNBC there's basically no one to blame in the U.S. court of law. The federal government has granted companies like Pfizer and Moderna Moderna, immunity from liability if something unintentionally goes wrong with their vaccines. It is very rare for a blanket immunity law to be passed, said Rogie Dunn, a Dallas labor and employment attorney. Pharmaceutical companies typically aren't offered much liability protection under the law. You also cannot sue the Food and Drug Administration for authorizing a vaccine for emergency use. Nor can you hold your account, your employer accountable if they mandate inoculation as a condition of employment. Yeah, I wonder how that's all going to work out. The 2005 law empowers the Health and Human Services Secretary to provide legal protection to companies making or distributing critical medical supplies, such as vaccines and treatments, unless there's willful misconduct. The protection lasts until 2024. That means that for the next four years, these companies cannot be sued for money damages in court. HHS declined CNBC's request for an interview. When the government said, we want you to develop this four or five times faster than you normally do, most likely the manufacturer said to government, we want you, the government, to protect us from multi-million dollar lawsuits. The quickest vaccine ever developed was for mumps. It took four years and was licensed in 1967. Pfizer's vaccine was developed and cleared for emergency use in eight months a fact that has fueled public mistrust of the coronavirus inoculation in the U.S. Well, I just triggered the old rhythm, algorithm, by saying that word. This video probably won't be up for long, so watch it while you can. Roughly 4 in 10 Americans say they would definitely or probably not get vaccinated. While this is lower than it was two months ago, it still points to a huge trust gap. But the drug makers, like Pfizer, continue to reassure the public no shortcuts were taken. This is a vaccine that was developed without cutting corners. This is a vaccine that is getting approved by all authorities in the world. That should say something, I guess. Uh, You made it in eight months, and the quickest one before that was four years. Yeah, no corners were cut. You can believe them. You, You believe everything that... Do these pharmaceutical companies say, and everything that the government tells you, you believe them. The government doesn't want people suing the companies making the vaccine. 
because then the manufacturers would probably charge the government a higher price. <laughs> they, no mention of uh, any uh, damage done to people. That, that doesn't even come into the equation, I guess. It's all about price. Remember, vaccine ma manufacturers aren't the ones approving their product. That's the job of the FDA, which begs the question, can you sue the U.S. government if you have an extraordinarily bad reaction to a vaccine? Again, the answer is no. You can't sue the FDA for approving or disproving a drug. That's part of its sovereign immunity. Sovereign immunity came from the king. Referring to British law before the American Revolution, you couldn't sue the king, so American has sovereign immunity. And even each state has sovereign immunity. And there's somewhere in here that says how many times they've paid out, because there is a government program that does pay out, I guess. Dunn's clients who run businesses serving customers in person or on site are most interested in mandating a vaccine for staff. They view it as a selling point. It's particularly important for restaurants, bars, gyms, and salons. My clients in that segment of the service industry are looking hard at making it mandatory as a sales point to their customers. Requiring a vaccine is a health and safety work rule, and employers can do that. Now, let me see if I can find this part where it says, I'll put the link in here. You can read this to yourself. I don't know. The government has created a way for people to recover some damages should something go wrong following immunization. It's called the PrEP Act. And if a case for compensation through the CICP is successful, the program provides up to $50,000 per year in unreimbursed lost wages and out-of-pocket medical expenses. It won't cover legal fees or anything to compensate for pain or suffering. It is also capped at the death benefit of $370,000 which is the most a surviving family member receives in the event that a COVID vaccine proves to be fatal. Oops, said that word again. Um, but experts specializing in vaccine law say it's difficult to na navigate. This government compensation program is very hard to use. The bar for compensation is very high. Also worrisome to some vaccine injury lawyers is the fact that the CICP has rejected a majority of compensation requests made since the program began 10 years ago. Of the 499 claims filed, the CICP has compensated only 29 claims. <laughs> so out of 500, they've compensated 29 and turned everybody else down. All right, I'll put the link in the description. You can follow up with this on your own. Anyway, just wanted to get this quick little video out here. Um, yeah. That's encouraging, isn't it?